half in the bag. The devil is my hairdo. Well, Mike, we're back at Mr. Plinkett's house. Aren't we supposed to be half in the bag? I don't see an alcoholic beverage anywhere. Aren't we supposed to be fixing Mr. Plinkett's VCR? I don't see a VCR anywhere. Where am I? What does they? Well, uh, where did Mr. Plinkett go? I don't know. I bet he's on some sort of crazy adventure. Is the pandemic over? So, Jay, when do you think Mr. Plinkett will return from whatever adventure he or she is on? I don't know. Uh, should we continue to fix his VCR so he could watch his night court tape? <laughs> we gotta get that night court tape fixed before the new night court starts. When does that happen? I don't know. That's gonna, like... Everybody's just been dying for the Night Court reboot. He's gonna remember about his Night Court tape when the new Night Court comes out on streaming. Oh, we better get to work then. We better get to work. He hasn't asked about his Night Court tape in over five years. <laughs> but we should fix it so we can watch it. Okay. But the... Half in the bag. Who took all my prescription drugs? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. What time is it? What is time anyway, but the ticking of a clock? until we turn to dust. Oh, don't get all existential on me, you can't. I've gone down and pissed myself, and we both appear to have missing time. What was that? I said, don't get all existential on me. I've gone down and pissed myself, and we both appear to have missing time. Oh. What didn't you hear? <sighs> missing time. And like a good noir mystery, we might have to retrace our steps and figure out what happened. That's right, Jay. Let's go sit in our chairs. My bones are aching, Annie. My everything hurts. Yeah, it's really weird. <sighs> Mr. Plankett? Mr. Plankett? Just check something here. Who are you calling? I'm checking to see if I called Mr. Plankett's cell phone. Mr. Plankett has a cell phone? Yes, dummy. Don't you remember we bought him one for his 116th birthday? Oh. It's one of those big old people phones that can only make and receive calls. Oh. But. It has a secret built-in GPS tracking app so we could track him. Oh. I'm checking it now. Oh. Hmm, interesting. It says he's at the VCR repair shop. What? Hello? Oh, oh okay. Oh. Lightning Fast VCR, this is Harry speaking. How can I help you? Uh, Mr. Plinkett? What are you doing at the VCR repair shop? Oh, you asked me to come in and mine the shop. Yeah, you, you, you told me that you and Jay wanted to take some time off to go on a drug binge. What? Yeah, 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 hey, are you guys done fucking around yet? This place is nuts, people are going crazy. They want their VCRs fixed. Apparently VHS tapes are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars now. Let me call you back. What? What a uh, fucking whatever! God damn it, I just fixed that! Uh, now I gotta fix it more! Glembiza? What the fuck is Glembiza? I have no idea. 
It says take two tablets four times a day for extreme elderly pain. The prescription was filled just yesterday and most of it's gone. Oh snap, we must have taken Mr. Plinkett's new pain meds to get high. That's so us. Oh boy, here, watch this. Mm. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, there's a little bit of a glare. But that's, 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 good. that's good, that's good. There's four ads. Oh shit. Before the ad. What the hell is Raid Shadow Legends? Jesus fucking Christ, I should finally subscribe to YouTube Premium. It's only 99 cents a year. Oh, here it goes. If you're over 100 and life's little aches and pains are starting to take their toll, try Glembiza. Your entire body will be cleansed in pain-free pharmaceutical magic. You'll feel young again. Warning, Glembiza is not for everyone. Do not take if you're allergic to Glembiza. Do not take if you are 99 years old or younger. Glembiza can cause memory loss, confusion, loss of vision, decreased appetite, suicidal thoughts and depression, stiff joints, uncontrolled diarrhea, urinary incontinence, hearing loss, sudden heart failure, osteoporosis, and rapid onset aging. Oh. My. God. Do I want to play Raid Shadows Legends? I just looked up Glembiza on the Reddit forum slash taking grandpa's pills, and it says, do not take Glembiza, in all caps. While the initial high is amazing and lasts for days, the side effects are... I'm sorry, what? What? You were saying? The side effects are terrible, and they can last forever. Interesting. You want to talk about the black phone? Oh, sure. Well, that was a lot of fun talking about that motion picture with you, Jay. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> but I think it's finally time I make that appointment at the eye doctor. Oh. I've been having a real hard time reading words up close, and I really want to finish this great novel. Uh. Well, if you'll excuse me. Mm -hmm. Ow! <laughs> Oh, my knees! Oh! Are you having a hard time getting up? Oh, man. Oh! Oh, my back! Oh! Oh! Jay, I think something might be wrong with us. What? Did you say you want to go see Thor Love and Thunder? I don't watch movies with love in the title. Or Thunder, too loud. You're crazy. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I know what's happening to us. Damn you, Glambiza! Half in the bag. Hey, Jay, I just read in the paper that HBO Max canceled the new Batman movie. Is that the one with the Harry Potter kid in it? No, no, they canceled the Batgirl movie. The Batman is with Twilight Boy, not Harry Potter Boy. So the Twilight Boy is going to be playing Batgirl? Ah, just forget it. You're confused about the new merger of Warner Media and Discovery Plus which caused them to either combine or eliminate HBO Max, leading to multiple layoffs and or cancellations. What? Remember the old days when you could just turn on your TV and watch TV? Yeah, now you've got to be an expert in corporate mergers, acquisitions, IP, branding, and quarterly income reports just to know where to watch the new reboot of your favorite 80s sitcom. So let me get this straight. First there was Warner Brothers, then Warner Media, then Time Warner, which was formerly called AOL Time Warner, which is all owned by AT&T. So Warner Media, which owns HBO, TBS, Cinemax, TNT, etc., is now merged with Discovery Brands? which has HGTV, Food Network, TLC, the ID Channel, A&E, 
History Channel, Travel Channel, Science Channel, etc. So now do I gotta change the password on my Discovery Plus app? And the password on my HBO Max app? No, no, there won't be those apps anymore. They're gonna combine into one app called like Warner Discovery or something, maybe? You'll have to cancel your old accounts and then create a new account on the new app so that you can watch your favorite shows that will then be canceled or junked for tax write-offs by wealthy media executives. Now wait, do you think I should use my old password or should I make a new one? Who cares? All I know is that the world's a f***ing mess and I hate everything. And now my soup is cold because I've been talking to you. Hello? Uh, hey Mike. Where do you guys keep your CI3 replacement circuit boards for Magnavox models 89 through 95? Uh, what? Yeah, uh, never mind. I'll just use a replacement board from an old 92 S895 47 Samsung. What? Hey, you know, I've been watching movies while I work on VCRs. Have you guys seen Prey? Prey? What's that? Every day I pray for death. Huh? Prey, it's, it's the new Predator film. Film? Oh, no, sorry. I meant the new corporate-owned streaming digital content product that will someday no longer be able to be seen due to a corporate merger, buyout, or acquisition. What did you say about the Spanish Inquisition? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I gotta go. Got a customer. Talk to you later. Who was that? I have no idea what that man was talking about. Uh, I think that I know. I don't know how I could hear him from way over there, but I could. That's enough talking for today though. Let's just watch a movie. Oh, that's a great idea. Let me see here. I got the remote. Okay. Oh, looks like it's Hulu. Uh, is this a new Predator or something? It looks like Predator based on the font, but it's called Prey. Get out of the way of the screen. Oh, 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 sorry. The movie's over. <coughs> I got kind of like a frog in my throat. <coughs> you feeling the same way, Jay? Yeah, a little bit. I got a little bit of the frog. Maybe a sip from this beer will help me. <coughs> oh boy. Ah. <coughs> oh yeah, that's much better. It perked me up a little. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling very old. Cheers, Jay. Nice to have a cold beer after a long movie discussion, huh? Mm. Oh, beer now tastes like the sweat of Irish people. Yeah, I don't think I could drink this stuff anymore. Ugh. You know, Mike, I think that Glembiza is rapidly aging us. More than life does. You might be right, Jay. In fact, I think that was Mr. Plinkett that called us. Why does he suddenly sound so youthful and chipper? Ah, those Gen Zers. They want their VCRs fixed so they can watch their stupid VHS tapes again. They don't have money, but what they do have is Adderall. Lots and lots of Adderall. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I got so much energy, god. Oh boy, I feel like I'm 58 again. I must be high. Hold on, Adderall, motherfucker! Yeah! Oh, I got my Adderall! What's Gen Z's? Now it's my Adderall! Yeah. Fuck it! Half in the bag. I'm in my underwear. This book sucks. 
Want to watch a movie on streaming? Uh, do I have to leave the house? No, it's on streaming. Oh, then yes. What do we got? Oh, let's watch whatever this is. It's the first thing that showed up. Let's watch it. Quiet! I can't see. Your fat head's in the way. Quiet! Well, we just got done watching a movie on streaming. Would you like to watch another movie on streaming? No, sure. Let's watch another movie. Let's see what's next. Okay. Let's watch, watch this okay. play. What's, what is this? Quiet! I'm trying to watch a movie on streaming. Wow, well, we just got done watching the second movie on streaming. Would you like to watch another movie on streaming? No, oh, sir, let's do another movie. We'll watch another one on the streaming. Make it play. You're facing the wrong direction. Oh my God. The TV's that way. I thought you were the TV. Nope. You gotta point the remote at the TV. What? Point to the remote at the TV. What are we doing? We're gonna watch another movie on streaming. Another movie? That's the third f***ing movie. Jesus Christ. We're gonna watch the third movie on streaming now. Let's put it on. Power. Okay, got it. Okay. Play. Oh! Well, we just got done watching a third movie on streaming. Want to watch a fourth movie on streaming? No, let's talk about the three movies on streaming that we watched. Let's talk about all three movies. Okay. It'll be a, a review extravaganza. Three movies nobody cares about. One bit. <laughs> when we talk about movies that everybody's seen, people say, why don't you talk about some smaller movies? And then we talk about smaller movies and people say, I've never heard of that movie. Why are you talking about this? It's like we can't win. Wow. You want to talk about these three streaming movies that nobody gives a shit about? Sure. All right, let's do it. But first I have a cold beverage. You should have a cold beverage too. Ah. Okay, have a... Cheers, cheers, some movies. Oh, thank God this plot device makes me not have to wear this hat and glasses anymore. Oh boy, I think we've watched just about every movie that's available on streaming. What about the Batman? Nah, let's just watch Morbius again. Okay. Oh, I love this part. Such a great film. Such a great, it's one of the classics. I got all, I got the whole thing memorized. I can do that dance. Yeah, can you? Yeah, yeah. I can't dance no more. Um. <laughs> oh my God. Half in the bag. My diaper's filled. Well, now that we're done watching Morbius, do you want to watch Morbius? No. Let's watch something else. Okay, let's see what else is on the TV. Oh, do you want to watch this? No. What else we got on streaming? Oh, do you want to watch this? No. What else we got on streaming? Oh, do you want to watch this? No. What else we got on streaming? How about this? No. Give me a... Oh my God. I, it's going to have the same movies when you do it. Would you like to watch this on streaming? No. What about this? No. What about this? What, what are these movies? Are these real? That's a no. What about this? Not a no. What about this? No. What about this? No. What about this? No. What about this? Nope. What about this? Nope. Uh, your turn. No, that's the movie, is Nope. Oh! I guess we could watch Nope. Do I hit power to watch it? I think I think the power's already on. You gotta hit. If I hit power, that's like it's 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 gonna power up the movie, right? Yeah, we could try that. I don't know. 
That's not what we've done for the last 73 movies we've watched, but maybe it'll go quicker this way. What if I hit OK? You that hit, might do it. You hit OK once to rent the movie, and then you hit OK again to confirm that you're renting the movie. I'm hitting it. And okay. then you hit OK again to play the movie. Oh my god, it's asking for a 46-digit passcode. Did you have one written down? I think, I think I remember it. Let me see the remote. I'll try it. I got notes. Let me try it. I wrote it. down notes for all my passcodes. Wait, wait. I think I got it. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let me try oh, again. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I used this unofficial Batman trivia challenge book to, to save all my passwords and passcodes in it. I, every every 116th letter I circled. Oh. And that is one passcode for a site, but I didn't write down which site it was. Oh, so you don't know if it's Amazon or if it's like a, like a voodoo? Well, see right here I got I got, I think this is like Netflix maybe, or Peacock, or, so we have an F, a W, an O, an E, an S, a parenthetical, a well, dash. Wait, let's try this. They say that they can, they can email you a new passcode. So let me confirm that they'll email you a new passcode. Okay, let me go get to my typewriter to check my email. Now, do you know the password for your email to check? It's in the book somewhere. Oh, no. Uh, but first, do you think I need to know what my email is? Why I have, is this so hard? I have a few emails. One's Mike at Lightning Fast VCR Repair and Services Incorporated dot NL. Oh, so I it think says that's that your Amazon account is linked to an AOL.com email. Do you know your password for that email? Well, that email was 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 bought out by Google, so I had to create a Google Plus account, which I don't think is valid anymore. I could try to reset my Google Plus account, but now that goes through Yahoo. Oh, Jesus Christ. What, should we try to guess the, the 46 digit passcodes? Can we look on Amazon and see if Nope is available on VHS? No, I don't then think we it. can just put it in the VCR. Maybe we could call Jordan Peele and ask him to transcribe the film over the phone for us. Okay, hang on. That's not a phone, that's a, that's a remote. Oh. Watching movies is too hard now. It is. I remember the old days when I would turn on the boob tube and there would be seven channels and I'd turn the dial and the channels would come in. And every so often there would be an illegal broadcast of someone someone pr pressing toynbean tiles on the ground and talking about the government takeover, and I would watch that, and I would think that it was part of the Jack Benny show, oh, like oh. it was a bit. But then it would fade out, and I and I and I would look outside, and there'd be a car driving by with like a big satellite on the roof. Oh. So I think it was an illegal broadcast, but so was Jack Benny. Is this the Farmer's Almanac? Because I'd like to find out if it's going to rain next month. Oh, both the movies are over. Oh, oh, I didn't even watch them. Oh, did you fall asleep again? I did. Oh. But uh, I rewatched them tomorrow. Well, how about I just explain to you what happened in them? No. Oh. How about we have a cold beverage? Oh, that sounds like a good idea before we talk about the films. Historically, a cold beverage has always perked me up. Yeah. And it got me out of my old folk funk. When did beers get so heavy? Oh, oh God. Did you, did you do it? Yeah, but I injured my hand. I'm gonna have to go through six weeks of therapy for that. Oh. Oh, man. I feel the life coming back to me. I feel so much better now. You know the great thing about this framing device? It'll never get old. No. Yeah. Half in the bag. Unforeseen consequences occur.
we've got to take our next dose of Glumbiza. Oh, thank God. Because I'm fiending. You know, no one's ever said that pain pills were addictive. <laughs> Why don't they tell people these things? Uh, how many refills are left? How many refills? No refills. Oh, shit. Well, I guess we gotta make them last. Uh, oh. Wait a minute. <clears throat> wait, wait a minute. It's kicking in. It's kicking in. I feel all my joints tightening up. Ah, uh, the sweet pain-free effects of Glumbiza. That'll make watching Miracle Valley directed by Greg Sestero of The Room that much more enjoyable. Hey, maybe it's a good film. I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. I read it's a Tubi original. They're not going to bankroll just anything. I think Tubi is who I get my life insurance policy through. All right, I'm about to hit play. I see it, I see it, I see it. What? What happened? Oh. Did you hit some button? Did you, did you hit some kind of wrong button? No, no, the goddamn internet's down. Oh my god. How are we supposed to watch more movies on streaming? Oh no. We were just about to watch Miracle Valley, directed by Greg Sestero of The Room. I was looking forward to watching this film. Well, Jay, since we can't watch any movies on streaming, I think it's about time you watch Star Trek The Next Generation with me. Oh my god. Look, I happen to have the very first episode on VHS. It's called Encounter at Farpoint, and it's the most boringest thing ever. But you gotta start at the beginning. Well, if we're going to do that, we have to get the VCR fixed, because I think it's broken. Oh my god. Huh, for some strange reason, the name Lightning Fast VCR Repair has popped into my head. Never heard of it. You know, I even think they have a location that's pretty close to us. Never heard of it. I'll go give them a call. Never heard of it. For some reason, I have their phone number memorized in my head. I've never heard of it. Never heard of it. Don't know what you're talking about. Sounds like bullshit to me. Oh. How's it going? Calling to get a VCR repaired. Something very familiar about all this. Half in the bag. I think in 30 years you'll look back on the David Gordon Green movies and think that he was a genius. Out of all the quality Oktoberfest beers out there, you get Sam f***ing Adams? It's literally the only one I could find. You know how many craft breweries make Oktoberfests and you get Sam Adams? What are you, f***ing stupid? Look, I went to so many, I went to one store, and this is what they had. I couldn't get the cap off because of my arthritis. Hey, why are you wearing that silly hat? Are you trying to be like the sheriff from these Halloween movies? What, who put this on there? What am I, a coat rack? Is Obama still president? Hey, did you hear they made a new Halloween movie? I bet Jamie Lee Curtis is spinning in her grave. Half in the bag. The final downfall of Mike and Jay.
Oh, God. I just shit my pants. Oh, again? Will you change my diaper, Daddy? I haven't changed mine yet. Uh, oh. Oh, yes. Uh, no, Mike, no. No more Glenn Beasley. But I gotta take my pain away. Oh. There's a new Avatar movie coming out soon, and I want to be dead before then. Glenn Beasley, take me away. No, Mike, no, no. You no fucker, no, give me Glenn my pain. Oh, oh. What? Huh? Hello, Mike and Jay. It's me, Harry Plinkett from Lightning Fast VCR Repair. What? Who? I'm here to fix your VCR, and I only charge about $5,000 a minute, and it should only take me about 10 years! Uh, hey, Jay, did you call some guy to come fix our VCR? Oh, 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 let me help you with that. Oh, thank you, sir. What? Oh. Hey, mister, let me teach you a thing or two about politeness. That's not very professional. I'll tell you what's not professional. Defrauding an old man for over 10 years. Why, all he wanted was to watch his night court tape. And you made him wait so long, they rebooted the series! I checked my bank account, and you two frauds have stolen over $3 million of my money! Oh, wow. What did you spend it all on? Booze? Movie tickets? I'll tell you what you didn't spend it on! Jenny Craig! Hey, that's uncalled for. I have a thyroid problem. It's very rude. Very rude. Uh, look, we just gotta order a couple, just a couple more parts. Cut it with your all. slurring bullshit, Grandma. Now get in your wheelchair Jay! and shut it, you. Ah, oh, God, I'm stuck. Oh no. Look, look, we'll pay you back all the money, okay? I'll go to the thrift store and buy a VCR for like a dollar. Then you can watch your night court tape, okay? Oh, I've already watched my night court tape. Sucked. Wasn't funny anymore. What? In fact, I found most of the humor pretty cringe. Sexist. Problematic. It's no longer on fleek. Oh my god, Mr. Plinkett's gone woke. How dare you talk about night court like that? Oh, more gumbizas in my pocket. Ah, Glembiza. The final downfall of Mike and Jay. Who would have thought that a pharmaceutical company could produce a product that would ruin somebody's life? The sweet release of pain. It came with such a steep price, didn't it? You speak of my pain? It runs deep. Let me share it with you! What the f***? Oh my god. What the f Oh! Me! Ow! Ow! Oh, my knee! Oh god! Oh no! What the f ah! Take that, you bitch! Mother f Yeah, what are you gonna do? Ah! Oh my god, my pants have fallen down! Mr. Stop! Don't hurt him! No. My head! Stop throwing me! Uh. Help me, Lord! Uh. Ow! Uh. 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 Help me, Jesus! Oh, God! I just can't help you now, Mike! Oh! 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 I give up. Oh, oh, I think I'm having a heart attack. Good. How? How are you so young and virile? You were once a doddering old man, confused and frail. Is it the Adderall? Did you snort it like all the college kids do nowadays? No, Jay. It turns out the answer to eternal youth was right in front of us all along. In fact, it was all around us. 
yourself? In a manner of speaking, yes. You see, one day, when I was fixing VCRs for you two, I broke one of my tools. And while attempting to remove a part from the inside of the VCR with my teeth, my tongue came in contact with the VCR head drum. The rest of the day, I had a strange energy that I just couldn't explain. I used a solution to remove the outermost layer of chemicals from the head drum. After confirming with an old Navy chemist buddy of mine from World War II, I determined that the compound used to protect the head drum from magnetic damage was called Zydroxydrazenine-63, an element that is not from planet Earth. After doing some research, I discovered that the man that invented the first videotape media process in 1956 was, oddly enough, a young private that was at the site of the Roswell crash in New Mexico. I read about that in a magazine. This chemical compound, when ingested, reverses cellular degradation and re-extends the length on your genetic telomeres. In the span of a few months, I de-aged from a 100-something year old man to my current age of 58. Don't I look great? So you found the fountain of youth in our VCR repair shop? And it involves licking a part of a VCR? The video head drum? Yes, I licked so many heads, it made me young again! Uh, um... I just love giving head! I mean, licking heads! VCR heads! That don't make no sense. Who writes this crap? Uh, what? The thing is, no one in human history has ever licked a VCR head before. Because why would they? Oh. It was mere accident that I discovered this VCR part is made with a DNA-altering alien technology. In a few months, I'll be 20 years old again, and I'm gonna market this element in pill form and make zillions of dollars! <laughs> That's not a bad idea, actually. Good on you, little boy. But what about the VCR repair shop? Out of business. I dismantled and licked the drums of every VCR that every idiot brought in. Soon the company went out of business. Your location is now a payday loan store. Oh. But what about the other branches? Oh, the whole company's been dissolved. Uh, your former boss, the CEO, Tim, yeah, he sold his share of the company and is now working for Trump's 2024 presidential campaign. Huh. Well, that's surprising. One piece of... Here. Kill yourself with one piece See if I care. Soon, with President Trump by my side, we will rule this universe for eternity! <laughs> uh, Mike, why are we here again? Because, Jay, this half in the bag timeline is totally fucked. These guys have written themselves into a boring, dumb hole where they have to play characters that nobody wants to see. There's other half-of-the-bag timelines? Thousands, maybe even millions. But in only six of them, Mike isn't fat. Hey, that's uncalled for. I have a thyroid problem. Isn't this a lot like that Star Trek TNG episode parallels that you hate so much? Ugh, it is, and good job being one step ahead of the annoying comments. But some timelines are just too lame to exist. Okay, so what do we do? Use the deus ex machine. Just type in, uh... In this universe, the guy who invented Glembiza got hit by a bus and died, and then hit enter. <laughs> Hey, it worked! Okay, great. Now let's go fix the universe where Jay never grew his beard. Ugh. Oh man, I can't wait for tonight's game. The Packers are having their best season ever. I love football. That's right, Jay. But I think you're wrong about something you said. I do not think Brett Favre should retire. Even at 53, he's still getting it done. Thank God, after all these years, he's still the Packers quarterback. If not, who knows what he'd be doing? Maybe something horribly shady and illegal. You guys fix my VCR yet? Uh, not quite yet, Mr. Plinkett. Uh, no, it'll be done soon. We're just waiting on those parts. 
Oh, good, good. It's been a while now. And I really want to watch my Newhart tape. Should we tell him that Bob Newhart died 12 years ago? No, let's not spoil the surprise. <laughs> oh. Mm. I'm getting a notification on my cellular telephone. Hmm. Oh, the movie theater down the street is re-releasing Star Wars Episode One: Rise of the Dark Side. Oh, that's awesome. You know how much I love the Star Wars prequels, Jay. George Lucas, man, he's pure Kino. I can't wait to see what he does with the upcoming episodes seven, eight, and nine. To me, it's amazing that a huge franchise like Star Wars is still under the control of a singular artist and hasn't been sold off to some soulless mega corporation. Well, let's head on down to the movie theater. Maybe when we're there, we can see another movie too. Absolutely. I love the theater going experience. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Guys? Bye. Guys, did you fix my VCR? Ugh. God, I fucking hate Night Court. <laughs>